Hello everybody, Zolt Vamus here, and welcome to a Windows to Revelation Special Edition episode. Today we are going to be talking about the Windows NT phase, or Windows NT operating system, whatever you want to call it. This was an operating system released in 1993, which is basically the phase of moving into Windows 95. However, I'm going to explain just before Windows 95 was was released, this is the this is the foundation of 95. There you go. This Windows NT is the the it is the foundation of Windows 95. Now we're going to start off with the first one, Windows NT 3.1, which is pretty straightforward. It has similar system requirements. You need a 80386 processor with at least 12 megabytes of memory, 75 megabytes of hard drive, di hard drive disk space, and a VGA graphics card pretty simple now if you were using the advanced server edition same thing 80386 processor with 16 megabits of rem of memory and 90 megabits of hard drive space now now the only thing about the um uh, the the advanced server upgrade is just a slight memory thing. Now, now let's go on to a bigger one, 3.5. Slightly bigger, same system requirements. And it did have a, in it a slight memory upgrade again. And um, again, with uh, when Windows NT 3.51, again. However, there was a little bit of a better, there was a little bit, basically it just had the uh, new shell technology stuff, new shell. And finally with Windows NT 4.0, and this was the last one, and instead of it being a 16-bit like 3.1 and 3.5 and 3.51, this was a 32-bit. Windows system available in both workstation and server edition with graphical environments similar to that of 95, which turned into 95 over the years. Basically, it Windows 95 and 4. Point, and NT 4.0 were basically the same thing and the foundation of the new Windows. But after that, Windows NT was completely gone. And um, that basically wraps up my explanation of before Windows 95. I'm not going to go into detail why it's obsolete. It's clear Windows 95 is obsolete today. It's closed source. And um, uh, all of it was discon in the whole update support stuff was discontinued by by 2005 so it was all done by 2005 no more at NT software no more and that was basically it and after NT it was Windows went on to make 2000 and uh, went on to make XP so thank you guys so much for watching this episode if you liked it please leave a like share subscribe and I will see you guys in the next Windows to Revelation episode. Peace.